rules to make something qualify as a forklift. It has to have a minimum of two forks, as many as four maximum forks, of four. maximum of four, but they could be in four on the bottom, two on the bottom, two on the side, or just two on the bottom configuration, and it could change to and from these configurations mechanically if you are so inclined. Are probably going to want to make adjustable fork sizes for the different items which are here. I I'd recommend uh, three block, three Phoenix block length oh, yeah. forks as well. Well, the, you're, everyone's going to get this Thicker map. Everyone's getting this map. Everyone's going to get to see what they need to do. For example, this first pickup to get down there to get a forklift under that, you will not fit a quarter high Phoenix block. So you're going to have to use something slightly narrower, like those, will work, or those with studs will work. You mean a, a get... one high, not a quarter high. Quarter high will fit, one high won't. Ye... No. Isn't quarter high. Uh, uh, Actually counts as .25 Phoenix size. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, so eighth. That uh, will not fit. Eighth. Eighth fit. There are five items you're going to have to move around in this little little race of ours. Stop hitting things. First is this. This is the simplest. It's uh, three props. They're very rigid. Total weight of 2,400. Obviously the bottom is made of a railroad track that is a fake-ass pallet. Nice and stable. Pick it up. We'll get to where they're going in a second. The second is this horrific thing. Which is, a Which is actually not that bad. Shut up, Dutch. Two 1,000 weight uh, soda machines on top of two 250 weight things that are welded together, but the soda machines are only roped together. And you'll have to get your pallet, you'll have to get your forklift to pick it up either from the back here or from the side here through these wheels. So. But yeah, you'll probably get one to work for both of those. But then you're going to come to this 10,000 weight car that will be propped up on cinder blocks, and you'll see that in a second. So, you're not going to get your side grabbers around this, probably. You're probably only going to be able to carry it from the bottom, and it weighs 10 grand. And that's pretty heavy. Followed by uh, the big one, which is this cylinder, which weighs 20,000, and you're just gonna carry there's no pallet under it, it's just a cylinder. So your two forks are gonna go to the left and right. You're gonna pick it up and you're gonna drive with it. And the last one is almost the easiest to pick up is this 7400 weight unit that's going to be very, very high. I'm gonna show you where that is in a second. So you want to do the course? Let's reset all the props. This is where you're spawning. Outside the tunnel. You have to spawn on the Far side of the blue line, teal line, and this is the first pickup. This is the uh, 2400 weight, and it's nice, prepared, and off the ground, and it's the easiest thing. You just have to pick it up a little. Why is it completely frozen? Pick it up a little bit, because you're going to hit those if you don't, and back it out, and take it on its journey. Let's go on its journey. And mind you, when you spawn your vehicle prior to that teal line, you can spawn it anywhere you want, as long as it's behind the <laughs> line. Don't touch the line. You're ruining the dupe. Put it back. Right. Spawn your vehicle, pick up the damn dumpster, drive it down the road. Oh, by the way, all vehicles are wheel-driven. How about I start reading off all the rules? Excellent. Way to go. Red panels are where things stop. Green panels are where they begin. You pick up the dumpster on a green panel. You bring it here. You drop it off. What's the height of this? 16 feet? About 16 feet. So, yes. Drop it off and nice and nice. Turn around. Come off this one foot curb. You're going to have three chances to pick this up. Because we've tried to pick it up, and it's hilarious, and you'll get three chances. Once you've picked one of these up, anyone, you pick up the first one, the last one, I don't care. 
you are to drive out over the one foot curb. This is probably the lowest point here, by the way. Down this ramp, all the way across. And you're going to start the ascent. Mind when you're building your forklift, it has to be able to climb hills with some weight on it. Would you stop doing that? Freaking me out. Doing what? Your whole model is like freaking out. What? Let's keep going and watch the video later. You come under these low bridges, which aren't that low. They're quite low on the map, so. So you gotta keep in mind there's different heights of things that you're gonna be picking up. You have to go around the circle, you have to come 90 degrees around, drop off the soda machines where Dr. Nick is standing. Facing this direction, by the way. Obviously. You can't drop them off over. So you're gonna, you're gonna come here, turn, drop off, back up, come around another 180 degrees reach in underneath this 10,000 weight van, which is just sitting made of... It's, it's jalopy tire, so it's pretty grippy. We're just sitting here on top of these bricks. We're going to pick this up, turn around, and continue along. And you should be able to knock this off here, as long as you're not completely retarded. I won't doubt it until I've seen it. Under the shit fountain, the diarrhea fountain, and you're gonna drive it. Here. The next set of retard hills. The very heavy. The very heavy truck van thing has to be driven over these uneven hills and dropped off on these cinder blocks on the bottom of this little shelf unit. Now you're both doing it. Stop doing it. Now once you drop that off, your focus is going to have to navigate this uneven terrain, pick up this, which is just sitting here, in this nice little holder. Which is also 20,000 pounds. Kilograms, but who cares, it's Gary's mud units. It weighs 20,000. Uh, that's a lot. You got to pick this up. Why do they use inches and then kilograms? Because Gabe Newell is high sometimes. Alright. You're going to pick this up, make a U-turn, come back over the hills of death, whichever way you want, either through the rough bit or over the top of the hill there, I don't care. You're going to head through the tunnel, faced with uh, your style of chicanes. Now this is going to be interesting. I want to see how people handle it. It isn't that steep a hill. It's a hill. It isn't that steep a hill. You shouldn't lose your load. There's plenty of maneuverability space if your vehicle isn't stupid large. Which I don't care if you use tank treads, multiple wheel setups, monster truck tires. As long as you can navigate this course and accomplish all the tasks mechanically, you're golden. I don't care if you use E2 to power it. I don't care if you use ACF engines to power it. Wire wheels. As long as you don't use thrusters. I mean, you can use a th like a build a mechanical engine and have it fire using thrusters, but no yeah. bullshit. Strap a thruster to the back. And no, go. no, 2009. Look, I've made a car with bathtubs and saw blades. Here's where you deliver the 20,000 weight object. So you've got to make sure that your forks can let it off. Because it is a it is a cylinder. The bottom should touch first, and then your forks are either going to have to separate or be low enough that it can let it off nice and easy. And here's the hard one. And this isn't heavy. This is only 7,400. But it's high. It's real high. It's 30 feet. 30 in-game Gary's feet. So, this is higher than the tunnels we we're driving through. So you're going to have to mechanically work out how to make a forklift that could do all these things and then reach all the way up here, pick this thing up, because it's, it's structured like that. These are permanently welded onto these two. And it won't slide around, you can't kick it off the thing. You're going to have to pick this up, bring it down, and then race to the finish line, which is... The finish line is our most difficult drop-off point. The finish line is because we hate people. And 
copies. Yes, there. You have to park your vehicle on this hill and lower the item onto this platform. Mm -hmm. and there's a flat bit, you can probably come up here, and then there. Once you drop that off and you've backed away, it's over. We could time you. Frankly, I don't think anyone's going to need to be timed. I think this is going to be about an hour. 20 minutes will be like the fastest possible thing. But we're going to time everyone anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, and, um... we're going to have a couple servers running this. Zild's got a server up. Tricky's got a tutorial and build server that they're not using, which has to be updated. My server's still up and running, although it needs to be updated. So there's uh, no shortage of places to do this. Uh, we're going to make the dupe available somewhere, probably on Minus. Dr. Nick has borrowed these baby forklifts, which is not designed for this competition. We just said the word forklift and be wet nuts. Yeah, this forklift is not applicable. It can't yeah. really make it across the entire map. It's just, it tries so hard. It's so cute. It's so cute. Go ahead, Dr. Nick. Bring it up there. I can't. There you go. Oh god. What is wrong with you, Hibato? Alright, Dr. Nick. Try to pick up one of these soda machines. I wanted to film it for the uh, official record. God, that's so slow. Why did he make it so slow? <laughs> yeah, you need to worry about that. I have managed to get stuck. Tank, tank treads probably wouldn't be the worst idea on a forklift. Not for this competition. Oh, these plates and are no collide, so you can just drive over them. They don't affect if the. If you uh, fail at all three attempts of picking these up, we'll reset them uh, with a small time penalty. Like what? Five minutes? No, probably like a minute. And as well as if you drop an item along the journey. Um, you don't have to reset it back to the original pickup point. It'll just be worse. If you if you've out. dropped it and you pick it up again, extra points. There's no. That's extra points, man. That'd be so awesome if you drop that truck and then you smash it to the corner and get it back on the fork. That's just pure win in my book. People are just gonna do that on purpose. It might kill their time. They'll get a gold star. They don't get any extra points then. Okay, that's more reason. Nope. But yes, you like that? Stop hitting. Oh, help me. We didn't. I did. I tried to lift this tire up a little bit. Yes, this is not allowed. What Dr. Nick is doing is not allowed. You'll be banned. Banned? But that's why there's three of these, because this is going to be difficult to get out of. You will receive the entire track with Actually, all the props. I've got a better idea than that. Better idea than what? Failing? What? This is gonna end poorly. Oh, poorly. 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 Uh, well, either way, it is possible to do this. Dr. Nick has done it, and I have it in my other video that I uploaded. It is possible. These are just pains in the ass. Just deliver it there, and get the fuck out, without it, and pick it up later. It's not a bad thought. Keep that in mind. I don't care how you do it, as long as you do it. We're just trying to keep this into a more... Not more, less magical. No hover balls. How's that? That's a good. That's another rule we forgot to mention. Yeah. That's so, just a few grabs as well. Turn around, Doctor yeah, Nick. That's the lowest curve. Rules. Smallest of rules we've got. The vehicle must be on the ground. Uh, movement by friction, so no flying, no hover ball bullshit. No thrusters. Uh, no, no thruster propulsion like we mentioned. Uh, steering mechanical, so your wheels have to turn left and right. No thrusters attached to the sides, spinning it in circles. Uh, we mentioned the fork limits. Uh, your forks can move on any axis, so you can lift all of your forks up and down together. You can also mechanically Don't push it in there, Doc. Oh so God! Your you can mechanically design your forks so that they separate to widen, um, as well as the supports. One of the options showed a support on the left and the right. You can have those become wider and thinner. Uh, no grabbers, as we mentioned. I don't think we mentioned that. Uh, no, no grabbers. Yeah, no 
magic grip. You could put wired weights on it if you want. If you want to do counterbalance weights that adjust for the load, that's fine. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's no weight limits. Your vehicle size is only limited by the course. So yeah. if it fits all yeah. the way through you, the course... If you could make something built out of five red containers that moves like a snake and it's a fishing. Officially, it has to fit on the far side of the blue line at the start. Officially. Yeah. Officially. But you wouldn't be able to fit it through the tunnel, so, yeah. Oh. Anyway, no multi-segment forks, so each fork, you know, you can have up to four forks. Each one of those, it's only yeah. allowed to be one part. You could have another two, like this design here that V threw together, you could have another two on the left and right that are just squeezing that so it doesn't fall off. He obviously doesn't have exactly. them because... V wasn't building it for this competition. And a big point to make, while you're transporting these objects, the forks and the object you're transporting cannot drag along the ground. There's no dragging, and uh, cameras. We were discussing cameras, because he can't see right now. Dr. Nick is driving into things because he's yeah. blind as shit. Uh, you can put so a bump cam on without problems. You cannot put a giant flying behind you cam. Yeah, so look, yeah. you can put a camera anywhere on the vehicle, but it has to be physically attached using props, and there has to be a screen attached that you can look at using the first person view. Have we decided if someone could remote control it just completely, and not be in it at all? Or is that, that outlawed? No, that's that's outlawed. Yeah. You have to be in the you vehicle. You can have control. a spotter. You can have... You could hire... One other thing. Quickly. You can also, yeah, you can also have a spotter, so you can have another player walking behind you, guiding you, telling you where things are. Like real life, yeah. It'll be more like real life. But if this Dr. Nick here, insists that you put a camera, you can put a camera here to look around your load. That won't count as a cheat, because in real life you'd be able to move your head and carry as much as you can. Or, if you're super badass, you can make your seat physically move left and right. What about that? Huh? No one thought about that, did they? Sounds good enough, but yeah. kind of un 